so you're ready to take creatine. That's great. I take creatine. It's a great supplement. And it's one of your body's natural sources of energy for muscle contractions. Most people don't know this, but about 95% of creatine is stored in the skeletal muscle and is used during exercise and other physical activities. Creatine helps to maintain a continuous supply of energy to working muscle by restoring ADP, which is adenosine diphosphate, back into ATP, adenosine triphosphate. See, that phosphate is used in ATP and it is restored by creatine. Creatine is found in foods such as milk, red meat, and seafood. And in a normal diet, you consume about one to two grams per day. Vegetarians may have lower amounts of creatine in their bodies, including myself. I've been a vegetarian for six years, so I also supplement. Taking creatine supplements aid your workouts and improve your recoveries. I really love the recovery benefits from creatine. That's another reason why I supplement. It increases strength, which improves performance, but it has a little effect on anaerobic endurance. So don't expect to get more endurance benefits while taking creatine. Research shows that taking creatine supplements may improve your exercise performance. It may help your recovery after intense exercise. I've noticed that personally while taking creatine, those benefits. Um, it prevents and or reduces the severity of injury. And it helps athletes tolerate heavy training loads. Um, because vegetarians have lower intramuscular creatine stores, they may see greater gains from taking supplements um, more than someone who has a normal diet that's getting that one to two grams per day already. However, it may take a little longer for vegetarians to build those levels up into the muscle. So if you're going to supplement creatine as a vegetarian, you might want to start off with five or 10 milligrams or 10 grams of creatine just to bump those levels up and allow it to get into the muscle faster. The, mo the most common creatine is creatine mitohydrate, uh, a dietary supplement to increase muscle performance in short duration, high intensity resistance training, just like we talked about. And taking the supplement benefits those athletes during strength training, notably weightlifting and cycling. So again, if you're gonna be uh, doing long distance running or long distance rowing, um, or long distance, uh, any exercise that you're going to be doing long distance, creatine is probably not going to benefit you as much as if you're doing strength training. So that's your note on creatine. Let me know what you think in the comment area. And until next time, let's keep moving.